Random Observations About Relationships Perhaps you've found that you're one of those people that functions better when in a relationship rather than when single. Maybe you think there's just something sort of validating about being attached, if only because you can no longer think to yourself, nobody likes me, because you know at least one person sort of does. Maybe you just like it because more often than not you've got something to do, that is unless you happen to hook up with someone significantly busier than you are. You may find yourself out socializing with other couples every night, and you may find yourself falling into the infamous John and Yoko syndrome. You may get so used to each other that your conversations start to go like, Hey, do you want to stop by the, um, yeah, sure. Hey, did you notice that we just, yeah, I did. No matter how content you may be, though, it's always hard not to ask yourself, am I really 100% sure that I've found the right person? I'm not really an expert, but I generally assume the following. For starters, if you can have a good time in a grocery store, it's probably a good sign. If you can only have fun at a five-star restaurant, it's probably a bad sign. I would also guess that respect for your partner is probably a good sign. Lily-livered fear of your partner is probably a bad sign. Being able to pee in front of each other is maybe a good sign. Routinely farting loudly and smelly in front of each other may possibly be a bad sign. If your partner is getting a little heavy and you try to motivate them by exercising together, it's probably a good sign. If you try to motivate them by calling them a big fat walrus shit, it's probably a bad sign. I wonder if anyone will know what I mean when I say that some people make the world seem like a large place filled with different lands, languages, and cultures, and others make it seem like a small place where a new Tom Hanks movie is being released on video this week. This is sort of an aside, but I used to do this little psychology experiment when I met someone new. I would purposely leave the toilet paper off the spindle in the bathroom when she was coming over my apartment. I figured if she left the paper where it was, that could indicate she was sort of independent and aloof, but if she actually took the paper and put it on the spindle, that would mean that she liked me and had a nurturing side. I figure if anyone ever takes the paper and drops it in the toilet, the joke's on me, because that would mean that she concluded that I'm just an immature man-child who either can't or just doesn't want to take care of himself, which I suppose is more or less the truth. There's an old saying that goes, we all tend to fall in love with different versions of the same person over and over again. I don't know the psychological reasons for this, but I do know for me it's pretty damn true. This, however, also makes it easy to repeat your mistakes. I hope at least one other person on earth has done the unbelievably stupid thing where in the beginning of a relationship you let them pick most of the movies and restaurants because you want to be easygoing and accommodating, but then over time you start to resent that you get into a pattern of always doing what they want to do and never what you want to do, so you have a little argument about it and agree to do what you want to do sometimes, but by this point it's been built up so much that you can't even enjoy doing what you want to do because you're too paranoid that they're not going to have a good time. Although it's pretty easy to fall into a pattern of throwing around a lot of pet names and baby talk, it can be kind of a drag in a way, because when you think about it, it's difficult to think of someone as a hot sex ball jet lovin' machine when they're saying, Oh, snooker wum boo boo lovey dovey wummy puppy. I always get a little freaked out when I see this couple in a diner or restaurant, the couple that looks like they've long since run out of anything to say to each other. I'm well aware that there's probably some other sort of bond going on here that I don't understand and know nothing about, but I can't tell you that it doesn't freak me out a little anyway. I remember once a youth group teacher of mine told me that you know you're in love when you'd be willing to wash their filthy underpants. I don't know if this is an accurate barometer, but I feel fortunate to not have been asked to do so thus far.